Hello everyone, welcome back to Fraud on the Telly. So as many of you probably know if you watch my videos, I am a, well, Critical Role fan. Personally, I describe myself as a bit of a super fan. I've been here basically since the beginning of Critical Role. I started watching maybe like a week after Critical Role debuted, like what, seven years ago now? Wow, I'm getting old. Today we'll be playing a little game I like to call Fan or Fraud. Well, I'll be putting my knowledge to the test this time with Critical Role, uh, more knowledge in a series of quizzes that I have collected, and we're gonna figure out just how much of a fan of Critical Role I really am. So always, if you enjoyed the video or something new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out some of our other Critical Role content on screen. And you guys already know how it is. Let's just get right into it. Feel free to play along at home. I'll put the quizzes in the description box below as well. Enough talking. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay, our first quiz is a YouTube video actually coming from Speco Vids. You know, there's a lot of like fan quizzes out there on the internet, but surprisingly, there's really not that many like sites of quizzes that have a lot of critical role quizzes. It seemed like some of the best quizzes I've been able to find seemingly are on YouTube, thanks to guys like Speckle Vid, so big shout out to you. There's a couple of other quizzes we'll be doing, uh, one that is very interesting that I think I'm not going to do very well on, uh, but we'll just see how it goes. This one is a Vox Machina quiz. I'm pretty confident in my Vox Machina knowledge. I'm not sure how many questions are in this quiz, but I back myself. Uh, surely there's going to be only a few questions that we get wrong, if any, right? Uh, without further ado, Let's get into it. All right, first question. What was Scanlan's mother's name? Jasmine, June, June, Juniper. Oh, there's a time limit. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it was Juniper. This came from a very famous scene in season one, uh, in season one, in campaign one, uh, where Scanlan gets on to the party for not knowing his mother's name, if I remember correctly. And I'm pretty sure that it is Juniper. Hey. Easy. That question was actually kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. What was my mother's name? Who was the second member of the Chroma Conclave slain by Vox Machina? Uh, that was Umbrasil. Uh, it was Brimsythe, Undersil, Vorigal, Thordak, um, Raishan. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Easy. Easy question. The vestige belonging to Vex is called Fentress. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. We did a whole video over the vestiges of the Divergence. If I don't know that, then what kind of a fan am I really? All right, who said the following? Your secret is safe with my indifference. Vax, Vex, Scanlan, Percy. That sounds like a Percy line. If I've ever heard one, that sounds like a condescending Percy line. We're going to go with Percy. Yep. Nice. Here we go. We're killing it. That one was a little hard too. I'm not going to lie. How many points of damage did Keyleth take during the Keyfish incident? Okay, I got to pause it, guys. 124, 256, 363, 300. Okay. Uh. Um, think, 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 think. I'm cheating technically by pausing the video, but to be fair, this guy did not give us that much time in these questions. I believe, well, it had to be double her hit points at least, right? Because it killed her outright. I believe that's the rules that they were playing. I think it's 363. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 363. It, I don't think it was 300. It could be 256. I think it was 363 though. Hey, let's go. What a crazy moment in Critical Role lore that was. Just what an absolute absurd moment. Uh, probably one of my favorite D&D consequence moments. Um, it's just a perfect example of just like consequences in D&D coming when you least expect them. The fact that she says we're gods. It's just that moment is just one of the like all time my favorite D&D &D moments like ever. It's just like a very classic D&D. &D. It just screams some shit that my friends and I would have done in high school. Uh, and then you're insta punished, right? Very funny. Who from the list below was the champion of the Raven Queen? Oh, that's easy. Pervon, Soul, the man, the myth, the legend. Pervon, Soul. I really hope we get some more information about uh, Pervon in the future, um, that would be very cool. Whether it's in some kind of like extra critical role uh, content, like a comic book or something that they release, I would love to know more about Pervon's soul. Jarrett Howard asked Vox Machina to bring back which spice from Ankarel. I believe that was uh, Fusaka? Fusaka, yeah. I believe that's what it was called, something like that, right? Yeah. Do you spice? Do you spice? Keyless mother avenged during her final armancy trial. What did they find? Um, ooh. Her staff, her leg, her antler, her leather. 
her leg? It wasn't her. Yeah, okay, okay. I was gonna say it wasn't her staff. It wasn't the antlers. Um, I don't even remember that. That was just a pure guess. I'm not even gonna lie. Grog's father was named Stonejaw Strong. Okay, okay. Hold up. <laughs> I have to be able to read these. It's going too fast. Stonejaw Strongjaw. Strongjaw Strongjaw. Stonefell Strongjaw. Strangejaw Strongjaw. <laughs> as much as I wish that his name was Strongjaw Strongjaw, I'm pretty sure it was Stonejaw Strongjaw. If I had. To if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Hey, let's go. We know our Grog lore. We know our Grog lore. In this picture, Vecna is attacking who with what? Okay, this is in the Vecna fight. Oh, okay. Once again, we're pausing. Vexalia with power would kill. Vexalia with finger of death. Vaxeldon with disintegrate. Pike with finger of death. Um, It was finger of death that he was casting, if I remember correctly i'm pretty sure he cast finger of death on pike and then can scanlan counterspells I, I think that's what's happening in this picture so we're gonna go with that hey easy 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 we're all over this guys hey that's it not bad not bad but i think we can find a harder quiz shall we Okay, so we have navigated over to a Sporkle, a little quiz uh, website, and I think that I found a quiz that might just stump me. A very interesting quiz in indeed. Today we're going to be playing Who Said It? Caduceus or Bob Ross? Now, the fact that Caduceus is basically just Faye Wild Bob Ross means that I have imagined uh, this is going to be harder than I think it is. Remembering quotes in general for a critical role is, is hard enough, let alone Caduceus quotes. So this should be interesting. Um, let's just play and see how we do, shall we? Okay, question one. It's important not to get angry at people for what they don't know. Caduceus or Bob Ross? I'm gonna go... Hmm. What context would Bob Ross say this? My gut is leaning Caduceus because of the context. But this very easily could have been Mr. Bob himself. I'm gonna go with Bob Ross, I think. No, it was Caduceus. Oh no, back to a bad start already. Okay, second question. There's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. It's gotta be Bob Ross, right? Like, Bob Ross draws trees. His trees are his friends. It's gotta be Bob Ross, bro. Yeah, let's go, Bob Ross. Third question. When you have this much power, you must use it kindly. Caduceus or Bob Ross? God. Well, right away, um, I feel like it's Caduceus, because, you know, power and such. But this very easily could be a Bob Ross line. Bob Ross did have a lot of power. He did have a lot of power in that magic paintbrush hand of his. Bob Ross? Hey! Let's go! All right, question number four. Go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. Bob Ross or Caduceus. I feel like I've guessed Bob Ross on like every single quote so far, but once again, uh, this is a hard question and it feels like a Bob Ross quote. Bob Ross? Hey! Question number five. I guess I'm a little weird. I like to talk to trees and animals. That's okay though. I have more fun than most people. Bruh, why is it, why is this so hard? Bob Ross? No, okay. Let's go. Question number six. I don't intimidate anyone. I try to get people to believe in themselves. I feel like these are just straight up guesses or 50 50s. I'm trying to find context clues in the question themselves, but this is very misleading one, as we've already seen. And two, either of these could say anything. I think what I'm just trying to say here is that Caduceus is basically Bob Ross. So we got to go with Bob. It's Bob Ross. It's Bob Ross. Question number seven. The answer is you may kid may not be the ones you want. And the answers may come in ways that you don't necessarily understand. I think we go Caduceus here. We've been on a string of Bob Rosses. I could totally see Bob Ross saying this, but I think we go with Caduceus. Ah, oh, it's Caduceus. I think I got this figured out, guys. I think we're on one here. Okay. Question number eight. There's no way nature is separate. We're a part of it. We communicate with the words every day with every breath. Caduceus or Bob Ross, eh? I feel like they want me to pick Caduceus with this, but I'm gonna pick Bob Ross. Oh my God, it was Caduceus. Question number nine. I think a goal is always better than a grudge. Once again, I feel like Bob Ross 
Caduceus could have easily have said this, though. Easily have said this at some point in campaign two. Bob Ross. Oh, my. Guys, it's Caduceus. Question number 10. I could write a book full of things I don't know. I think this is a Caduceus line. Something inside me tells me that Talison said this line at some point in campaign two. We're going to go with. Yes. Caduceus. Question number 11. Talent is a pursued interest. Anything that you're willing to practice, you can do. Okay, we got the word practice. This leads me to believe this is a Bob Ross line. The man was all about practice and the fact that any of us can paint. Uh, even the most and least our talented, uh, artistically talented individuals can paint. So surely that's a Bob Ross line. It's a Bob Ross line. Question number 12. We don't laugh because we feel good. We feel good because we laugh. Another tough question indeed. Oh my god, I just realized we're running out of time. There's a timer right there. It's ticking away. Okay, we gotta step up the pace. I'm gonna go with Caduceus here. I don't know why. I just feel like a Caduceus line here. It was Bob Ross. Question number 13. No one has ever been hurt by having too many friends. Caduceus or Bob Ross? I feel like every question I've gotten wrong are ones that I guess Caduceus for. Yeah, being said though, this has got to be Caduceus, right? It was Bob Ross. Question number 14. Patience is fine, but it can curdle into apathy. Caduceus? Yeah! Let's go! Caduceus! Uh. Question number 15. Pain doesn't make people, it's love that makes people. This has got to be Caduceus, right? Surely this is Caduceus. It's Caduceus! Question number 16. The very fact that you're aware of suffering is enough reason to be overjoyed that you're alive and can experience it. Uh, this is some deep shit, man. Very deep question. Um, I'm just gonna go on a limb. Bob Ross. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go, Bob. Get in the bin. Question 17. It's always worth making friends, no matter where you are. Now, this screams Caduceus to me. This screams Caduceus. I have a feeling... <sighs> We're going, no, we're going Caduceus. We're going with our gut. It's Caduceus. Question number 18. Death is just a pause. Now, I feel like this is a trick question. It's got the word death in it, which makes me think of Caduceus. You know, the whole uh, grave cleric thing. Why was I calling him a druid? I'm going to go with Bob Ross. I think this is a trick question. Oh, okay. It was Caduceus. I'm a dumbass. Question number 19. I think just being you, wherever the world puts you, will do just fine. Caduceus. Yes! Question number 20, final question. The secret to doing anything is believing you can do it. Now, this sounds like a Bob Ross line. Bob Ross is like the, one of the ultimate like motivators, you know, motivational men. The do man do be motivating. This has got to be a Bob Ross quote. Okay. 63% respectable. Not really. Oh, we got a 70. 70%. That's higher than the average. I think we take that guys. Uh, I think we do. Uh, we missed six questions. Uh, a couple of them was stupid. I probably should have gotten them right. But to be fair, that was hard. Uh, who would have known that Caduceus and Bob Ross were like basically the same person? Uh, it's unfortunate that there's not more than 20 questions and there's the questions just repeat themselves because if I were to take this quiz again, uh, hopefully I would do better. That being said, though, I do implore you guys to take the quizzes and let me know in the comment section down below what you, uh, what you get. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then why don't you click on screen now and go check out some of our many other Critical Role, uh, lore and Critical Role content videos. As always, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Until next time, peace, love, Ado. A love story that might be. We wasn't supposed to happen. So much talk around us. We became numb to the happen. It was like 05. Got my license to drive. Picked you up in my pop's car. Went for a ride. Couldn't no one tell us nothing. 